Joining me right now to discuss this further is Congressman Mark Vesey of Texas. He was among the Democratic lawmakers who visited some of the border detention facilities in his state this week. Congressman, I was just seeing you shaking your head. Yeah, I mean, just hearing that, I mean, uh, how, how, how can you hear that and not just, and not just break your heart? I mean, it's, it's, it's awful. And based on what I saw uh, on my trip day before yesterday, I 100% believe them. Uh, they did everything they could to give us the there's nothing here to see tour. Uh, but when you talked to migrants that were in custody, uh, they told us firsthand that they were being told to drink out of toilets when they were told they were thirsty, that there were kids that were walking around in clothing, where there was mucus, uh, just for, from days and days worth of uh, mucus and, and other uh, debris like on their clothing. Mm. Uh, showers being denied for days. Uh, they told us that they could shower anytime, you know, at least once a day. But what we were told was that they were being denied showers for days by by migrants. And you know, based on this Facebook post, how can you uh, not believe that the migrants were telling us the truth? And now, based on what this Border Patrol uh, agent was just telling us and and the IG report, I mean, something has to change. Well, let's talk about that. Um, but before we get there, on, on top of those two things, there's something else that has come out. These images, these drawings from the American Academy of Pediatrics, they released these these pictures of drawings that young children made um, once they were released, but uh, made of their time in custody. I mean, you can see with your own eyes what it clearly looked like to them and more importantly, what it felt like to them to be in there. What do you say to that when you see this? Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I can't see the, the images, but uh, I can tell you that, you know, we saw young children that looked, appeared to me to be three or four years old that were in holding cells, uh, holding cells similar to what you would see like at a county lockup. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and again, just based on the IG's report and, and the interviews that we just heard, I mean, yeah, the, the kids are, are being, there's no question in my mind that these children are being treated uh, very poorly. And I think that it also illustrates that President Trump will do anything that he can to try to appease his base when it comes to immigration and that he is using these migrants as, as pawns in a political game. And that is just, that's absolutely sick. And it has to stop now. And I will tell you that one of the things that has to change today is that members of Congress need to be able to go and visit these facilities without 48 hour notice. Right now we have to give 48 hour notice. Oh. We need to be able to go into these facilities whenever we want to uh, at, and, we, and we can fly down there on our own dime. We can fly down there at the spur of the moment. I actually have been wondering about this, about Congressman. These it's really interesting yeah. actually that you bring this up because I, I, I've been wondering this. Coming from the IG report where they did surprise visits at five facilities and that's what they found. And even with the amount of notice that you were given, that you had to give to go into this facility and the stories that you were told, I, I'm starting to wonder if you just because journalists can't go in there with cameras. That's the thing I c continue to have to say to, to um, our viewers. Why don't you just make a tour of it? Why don't you just give that 48 hours notice and make a tour of it and keep visiting these facilities over and over again? Because I, maybe that is what would bring about, maybe that would, is what would bring about change? Yeah, no, I, I, I think that, uh, again, uh, obviously more tours would be helpful. Uh, but not having to give the notice. I mean, I mean, if I wanted to go down there right now and visit that facility at Clint or any of them along the border, I yeah. need to be able to as a member of Congress. We have oversight of these committees and the game that they're playing. And I, and I personally feel like the reason why they're playing games is that they feel empowered by this president uh, and Stephen Miller, who's his uh, so-called immigration uh, but you czar. But you do have someone appointed by the president as well, the new acting chief of the Department of Homeland Security, who he says he is acting. It's on what, in talking about the Facebook postings, that secret Facebook page. Right. He's directed an investigation, and he says that anyone who's done wrong should be, should be and will be held accountable. We learned that today. Do you applaud him? Yeah, no, absolutely. He is certainly uh, saying the right thing when it comes to that. We need to see it followed up with action. We need to see... Of course, you probably saw that Elijah Cummins, who's the chair of the Oversight Committee, that he's going to conduct investigations, uh, that the acting 
uh, secretary said that he is going to conduct investigations and not only do people need to be disciplined, uh, people need to be fired. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you, Kate, just the fact that knowing that some of the people that were supposed to be our security for that day uh, when we were at the press conference and all of the uh, people that were wearing the MAGA hats were out there screaming obscenities at us that those were supposed to be our security personnel and those are the people that are supposed to be uh, in charge of making sure that these migrants are being treated humanely and they're a part of that Facebook page. I mean, that's just absolutely uh, unacceptable. And so when uh, investigations are conducted, and I hope that they will be conducted very swiftly, people need to be terminated. And again, depending on uh, what is found out, there may need to be some people that need to be prosecuted. Well, that, that's one thing that we do know is there's something like 9,500 members of that Facebook page, but we don't know exactly who those Facebook pages, who those postings are from, who those people are in real life. That is part of the investigation, and that is what Kevin McAleenan says they're going to get to the bottom of. There's so much more to this, especially from this IG report. I just cannot turn away from it, and no one else should. Congressman, thank you for coming on. Um, let us know when you go on your next tour. Absolutely.